seen 27.55. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today I'm doing a journal flip uh, with some benefits. Some benefits will be the first part of the video where I finish up um, my spread from uh, earlier today at uh, that we gather down at the local art gallery once a week and do journaling or whatever and uh, the name of a group is where art and words meet pretty snazzy eh anyway back at the first uh, meeting I purchased a journal from Karen Blake it's a lively journal uh, she took signatures and actually sewed them on the sewing machine and then she attached the signatures to each other with duct tape I don't know how many different signatures anyway it's a pretty pretty pretty, pretty chunky little book it, it's small but I like small you know I don't necessarily work in books I work on the flat but I am working in this one so anyway so you're just kind of watching me finish up the uh, spread I had started but uh, really didn't get done I had some chores I needed to take care of so I went and did those, and then once I got back home and got unwounded, I worked, I uh, finished working on it. And uh, the background is made from paper towels. And, you know, paper towels, uh, some of the brands have two layers, so be sure to split those apart if you're going uh, to use them. And it took a long time to dry, so, yeah, even with heat gun. So, uh... Here I did some stamping onto deli wrap and I'm uh, using the uh, water to dampen around the image and tear it out. I really, really, really like how that does the edges. They just so seem to just melt right into uh, your background. A little bit more so, yes, even than uh, just tearing it without water. So, but you know, either way works. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. So, um, I'm not really going to tell you about products per se, on account of, uh, I'm just, yeah, just watch, okay? So, in my bag, once a week, I'll put uh, whatever, whatever grabs my attention as I'm walking around uh, my workspace. And I'll use that uh, for the next week's uh, journaling meeting group meeting yeah or not yeah so yeah and I had uh, three three different uh, colors of acrylic ink in my bag and that's what the uh, circle things are the the solid violet uh, purpley violet red violet purpley one there I don't know um, it just seemed to uh, reactivate. I thought it was dry. Maybe it wasn't totally dry because, you know, we are talking about working on a paper towel and those are can, you know, hold water for a while. So, uh, ended up daubing the matte medium fairly heavily on all of the uh, the violet, purpley, red violet ink. The other one is a uh, Payne's Gray and you can't really make out so much but in the background uh, there's some white ink drippage. It's pretty pale. And that's okay. So I love how the leaves looked on this. And uh, I, as much as I love dragonflies I kind of wish I'd left them off because yeah. I really liked how the simplicity of, of just the leaves. But, you know, we got the dragonflies, and I love them, so they're staying, right? Because I'm not going to try. How would you even pull them off? I don't think you could. So, anyway, this is, I don't know what spread it is. I've got my book here, so, yeah. If you hear a noise, that's me rattling the book. One, two. This this would be the fourth spread. I did add a uh, tip in, tip out, flip out onto this this particular one. Oh, I like it, people. I can't tell you how much I just love it, and I really really like the simplicity of it. You know, I would yeah. Without the drag, yeah, I like the dragonflies. What am I saying? I love dragonflies, people. 
So, any hoot, uh, when Karen made, did I tell you how she made the journal already? I don't know, because I've done this voice over like, I don't know, a million times already. So, so she took her signatures, and if I already told you, you're just going to have to listen to it again, or just, you know, turn your volume down or something. She took her signatures and actually sewed them on the sewing machine and attached the signatures, <clears throat> excuse me, to each other, uh, and to the cover with duct tape. It's so cool. Anyway, I like it. I think I probably already told you. Or in one of my prior voiceovers I told you, but you know, you won't hear those necessarily. Anyway. Musical. Dogs are taking a nap. Don't wake them up. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Tegan! Paula. Oh, that caption. What does that caption say? That little deal is tiny. To write a true love letter, you ought to begin without knowing what you mean to say. And then finish without knowing what you have even written. There I am trimming up some of the raw edges that hung over. So, oh, yeah. Did I mention I like it? I like the colors. I like the, the vibrancy, the darkness of it. I keep in my head, I'm like, eh, put some little splashes of gold on there. And then I'm like, oh, Probably not. Pretty sure not. Yeah, pretty sure not. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, off screen and all that kind of stuff. And really, I thought I'd stop recording, which you can see my disclaimer on the screen very plainly right there. But I went ahead and left it in, you know, makeups for uh, some of those possible ones that I had missing footage out of before some of my old prior videos. I don't know. I don't know, but I've been told all the streets are paved with gold. <laughs> we're talking heaven, people. So, anywho, I like this group, and um, we're about to, I'm about to show you the journal flip. So get ready. Because I start with the cover. And that's a representation of me. If y'all couldn't tell, that was me. So, I mean, you know, it's a funny representation of me because I don't have that kind of a body. And legs! I got legs, y'all! Uh, when I drew myself on the cover, I didn't have any legs. And I thought, well, I need some legs. So I thought about it for a while, and then it came to me in the middle of the night what to do. So I made a cover, a closure, I'm sorry, a closure. And those are my legs that wrap around. I'm barefooted, and I put a pocket on the inside there. And yeah, the, the inside's not really cut, done. And that's my first spread. When she dared to dream, the scent of flowers bloomed. Ta-da! Yeah. And then the next one, it, that's a photograph. Uh, you know, when you go to secondhand stores, antique malls, whatever, you can pick up uh, photographs sometimes. And that was a photograph we purchased. We, I say, me, a husband and I. And it reminds us of uh, our Aunt Mary up in uh, Borger, Texas. Her, yeah. Kind of, yeah, really reminds us of that. Although the girl's name was Hazel on the back of the uh, photograph, so I left it that way. And this is a collage of a piece of um, calendar down there. And at the gallery, there's some items we can use. And there was plenty of rhinestones, gems, blingies. So I used that. And it says, lift your voice and sing your song. La, 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 la. And uh, this is the spread that you just, you know, the benefit part y'all got to see me finish working on. And, uh, oh, the dragonflies were a napkin. And I read that caption to you, but we'll do it again. 
to write a true love letter. You ought to begin without knowing what you mean to say, and then finish without knowing what you have even written. Ta-da! And the rest of the ibit is playing. And uh, I may do another uh, flip, 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 flip for y'all later. Fur, again with the fur. So anyway, my closure has a magnet uh, on it. And uh, I thought I was leaving it big enough, but I don't know. I don't know, people. Ta-da! See, there we go. And I'm going to show you the back. And yeah. So it's not, it's not real. Yeah, it's just sort of showing off, I guess. I don't know. So if y'all are in Conroe on Wednesdays, uh, come on by the art gallery because there's a journaling group there. And uh, I may or may not be there. And here comes a photo segment. Um, see, Hazel was the name of the, uh, the girl in the photograph. And, uh, yeah. I like that page. It's so soft looking. Mm -hmm. I like all these pages. Is that my very first one in? I know. It is what it is. So, yeah. And, um, hmm. That's, that rattling's the air conditioner came on. It is so hot here, people. It is summertime. Full fledged summer. Thanks for watching. Happy art, y'all.